Hi, I'm Barry, he's Mike. And he's got a craving for fish, chips, a road trip, and sleeping in a sweaty floating box with three of his mates. I do. A couple of weeks ago, Mike and I went uh, to watch the football and I ordered a standard fish and chips and mushy peas. And they were awful. Yeah, it was minging. He wouldn't stop talking about it. And Baz was telling us this the very next day and it turns out there are actual national fish and chip awards. Just no winners in London. Nothing. Not exactly coastal. However, the UK's 2017 best takeaway fish and chips are in Plymouth. 240 miles away. And there are another two award-winning fish and chips en route from here in East London. And it would be a crime if we didn't go and try some, right? That's the best. Yeah, I'm going to say right now that is the best one. <laughs> we drove all the way from East London to come here. So we need to get from here to there. Plimpton, don't you? In that, in that, that direction, definitely there. Our first challenge is getting out of London. I just want some lunch. Might get the car, we're ready to go. It's very pretty, isn't it? And that's it. There he is. So the National Fish and Chip Awards, big deal. This place was the winner in 2016 for independent fish and chip restaurants. So obviously we've ordered their cod and chips. What do I look for in a good fish and chips? Um, crispy batter, flaky fish that is still moist. You need oil that's been reused a few times to get like the real good stuff, you know? Steam coming off it, it's flaking well good chunky fleshy white fish. It was very meaty when I come to it, which is very nice. The batter's like, not crispy, but it's got a good, it's got a texture, but it's not crispy. Sometimes I like little really bits that fall off in the fryer, and they fish out the scraps, also the best bit. This fish is, look how meaty that is. The chips are delicious and potatoey and fluffy. Yeah. They're not my favorite fish and chip shop chips. The sacks they got over there yeah. is today's choice of potato and it changes weekly, monthly, depending on the season. That to me is at the very top end, the best you can get. The only thing that dish really misses for me is the view. I'm not feeling the atmosphere. There's no, there's no seaside. You know? Yeah, like poppies in Spitalfields Market in London, yeah. It probably is one of the best fish and chips I've had, yeah. I don't think I've had better sat in on a plate for the price I agree. we paid. Absolutely agree. Paid. There's a few more recommendations for tomorrow, which I think could knock this one out of the park. If we leave <laughs> right up. now, if we get built right now, we can get out and go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Barry found something, he got very excited and we all got excited because we thought, you know, it's probably quite cool and it turned out that he actually got excited because it was a great thing for the storyline of the video. Um, do you want to stay on a boat? What? Come on, let's go for a 100% yes. <laughs> we have to get there in 10 minutes, otherwise they clutch. What? Run, 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 run. Uh, can you explain what's going on? I was Googling hostels and there's a place, there's a hostel boat. I saw, oh, clicked on it. No, I want to sleep. It'll be fine. Um, and I didn't classify that we were four singletons wanting to have separate beds. Yo, mate, you need to phone her back then. We'll, we'll be there in two minutes, we'll ask her in person. Where are we? This is about two minutes, or is it actually six? Because you're thinking it's six. Um, right here, please, mate. <laughs> you're going to do her a lot of asking. I'm going to wait in the car. <laughs> I'm on the train tracks! <laughs> <Guys>. <laughs> I'm still on the train tracks, I can't get off them! We made it by the skin of our teeth, the place was just about to shut. It was clean, it was it was a boat, and I had four beds. A tiny boat with a tiny room that fits four grown men, not comfortably. <laughs> Happy? Guys, we can go there, we can go and bring her back and yes. Happy is relative. <laughs> hey, we're on a boat. <laughs> Been a day, innit? <laughs> Arrived, Plymouth. What's the time? Twelve o'clock. 
How are we feeling, guys? You come all this way. We made it! <laughs> I can smell it. I'm I'm quite nervous. Why are you nervous? Because it's been a journey. I know. It's a, I long, mean, it's a long way to come for average fish and chips, isn't it? It is, isn't it? If I've Instagram storied this whole journey and this is bad, what does that say about me? <laughs> it better be good. So Rockfish is one of the most successful fish and chip shops down here in the southwest and they catch all their fish from this local area. You can see the fishing boats coming and going from this port. They're bought here and to a few other restaurants and it is some of the best fish and chips in the UK. But is it the best? It's cool, it's very nautical isn't it? Nautical colours, a nautical feel right on the harbour. Looks good, the fish and chip menu is cold organic, simple as and I think there's some like fresh catch of the day stuff as well, so. Today, hake, mergum sole, place, skate wing, or waiting on offer, because that's what's fresh at the moment. I've got a good feeling about this. Mm -hmm. Firstly, seafood ketchup. That is a must. Oh, it's quite different to the other one. Oh, look how major that fish is! So, hey, it gives it a much finer flesh that kind of um, is softer than the cod, which was much meatier yesterday. But I'd say the batter is on par. It's a little bit crispier. I think it's a little bit lighter. It's picked up a little bit of more of the oil, I think, which is nice. The big thing for me, Mike, is they've got your type of chips. They're a little bit squidgy. Some are soft, some are, some are crisp. You've got a variety in front of you, so you can't lose. We also got the sole, which has just been um, grilled with lots of butter and herbs. Still fish and chips. Well, that, that is good. I know fish and chips has batter on it, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with something like this with chips. Like, it's so good. They also have a takeout. This is the place that I always use when eating out fish and chips, because you can have restaurant quality fish and fish and chip shop chips at home. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's like... <laughs> that is quite... Now, this is the thing about fish and chips for me, is still bits of the skin. <laughs> Whereas at the other place, you have nothing. Anyone who's scared about fish on the bone, it just falls off it. If it's done well. That, I think, is the best fish we've had so far. And chips. Those chips are halfway between the chips that we had yesterday and the chips that I want to be having. I need them soggy. I need them soggy. Cider, an interesting take on fish and chips. Yeah. I've never associate. I would always go ale, probably, or white wine. Beer batter. Cheers. Cider is great. Cheers. Yeah, often because beer batter. Cheers. Strong. Please, Mike. Did you, <laughs> yeah, did you get this it? Is it? Did you get it? Did you get it? That can't be it. This, this is it. nuts. It's on. It's next to a Dragon City and Domino's. Officially, <laughs> the UK's number one fish and chip shop, 2017. Chip shop, not no chip restaurant. No way. This is takeaway fish and chips specifically. That's what they were awarded the award for. The food has to be good. But I mean, yeah, that's that's a good point. Because you can't rely on the setting. No. We drove all the way from East London to come here. <laughs> this was the place that we looked up. <laughs> this is amazing. It's not going to get voted the UK's number one fish and chip shop unless it's bloody good because no one's going to come here for the view. We're going large cotton chips, three deep fried Oreos, <laughs> what? And a pickled egg. Do you know what? I'm looking forward to fish and chips from a takeaway fish and chip shop because I think it's going to give us a completely different experience. A childhood classic fish and chip shop takeaway restaurant. Um, I'll tell you why, look, every single great UK fish and chip shop has one of these. I mean, I have to upgrade. Right, that doesn't fit the new pound coin. It genuinely doesn't. Crispiest, like. crispiest batter yet. Really? Oh yeah. And fish. Huge, great big flakes. 
that's the best. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna say right now that is the best one. I've only, I've just had one mouthful, and I know. It's very good fish. It's like a mix between the two previous ones, so it packs a punch, it's got loads of flavour, but it's also really light, crispier than both the others. The fish is really flaky and sweet and juicy. That is what I want the fish and chips to be. This was six quid. I wanted to kind of build in some jeopardy to this, but that is the best fish and chips we've had in the last 24 hours. <laughs> You're doing this on purpose. I'm not. I'm driving a car. <laughs> They're slightly flourier, potatoes, in the middle. But they've still got a good golden colour and a good crisp and a bit of sog. There are thousands of fish and chip shops in the UK and we haven't tried a fraction of a percent of them. So we can't tell this is the best. What I'm telling you is this is the best of the three we've had in the last 24 hours and it's a really good fish and chips. I'm not sure I drive five and a half hours for it, for this. But <laughs> if you're here, you it's did. bloody good. Southwest England, we have a contender. Where are we finding our next contender from? Up north, east, southwest, south northwest. Now, that was part of a much longer road trip. 550 miles we went from London down to, not Padstow. Plymouth. Plymouth, the other P. You can go watch the entire thing because we've filmed it all as part of our Lost and Hungry trip. Yeah, you can go and watch that if you're a member. And if you're not a member, sign up and then you can go and watch that. Also, click that notification bell to make sure that you get a poke every time we upload something amazing. Make sure you subscribe and we will see you every Wednesday and every Sunday for another fridge cam. I thank you and see you next time. Au revoir. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Sorry. Sorry. I'm ready to talk now. <laughs>